All right, so uh, welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. Um, today we're going to talk about compost again, but this time we're going to talk about what to do with it. So you got some compost built, and okay, that's great. I mean, unless you really just want compost, you got to find something to do with your compost. So I'm going to show you what I do with mine. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my old compost and put it on my new compost pile. Now, as you can see over here, I've got some cardboard, I got some kitchen scraps, I got some paper towels on top of some grass and weeds that I pulled out of the garden. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the top layer of this, which is going to be a little drier, and I'm going to put it on top of the new pile. And this counts as, as um, stirring your pile also. So you do want to get that done every so often. Now, you want to kind of be careful as you're doing this. If you're like me, you probably got a bunch of ants in your pile. You don't want to get a bunch of ants in your pants. So just watch as you go along and make sure that you don't have them crawling up your legs and such. Now, the other thing, of course, with this The other reason that you want to do this is because as you go along, you're going to be creating more compost and you're going to have to have room to put the new stuff in. I'm going to mow the lawn tomorrow and I'm going to want some place to put my, my clippings. So that's another reason to take the good parts and use them and then let the rest of it continue to rot down. So I've still got heat coming up out of it. So it's still working and you see this gray stuff right here you can tell that's still rotting down all right so i want to put some of that on this pile as well out of the middle of the pile and let that help work on that all right rest of it i'm going to take now i told you before one of the ways you can tell the compost is done is that you can no longer identify what it originally was mine is not quite to that point but it's still usable the leaves are starting to get nice and black so this will add um, organic material into my soil and I'm kind of using this as both compost and as um, a mulch to cover the plants so that being said, I'm going to get me a couple of wheelbarrow barrels full of compost. Now, one of the things that happens with cardboard boxes is if you don't pull the tape off, you'll end up with the tape left. Now, You'll notice all the cardboard has rotted away from that tape and once it has you can just kind of toss it out and then uh, use that um, let me just toss that in the trash all right so there's a couple different ways to get compost in your garden one is put it on top grind it in problem with that is that uh, first off you're digging up the soil and second off uh, if you've already got stuff planted you can't really do it that way in most cases, unless you've planted your rows wide enough to run a tiller or a hoe through. The second way of using it is something called side dressing. So essentially, you're putting this near the plants so that the, the composted materials will start to leach down into the soil. Now, I'm going to do it that way for two reasons. One, I want this to not only be compost, but also a bit of mulch. So then hopefully, ah. and like I said, I want this to be not only compost, but mulch as well. So it'll not only continue to rot down, but it will also provide a little bit of shade and retain some moisture. Now, if you got sandy soil like me, 
one of the things you want to do is pre-wet it um, because a lot of the moisture tends to leach out through the bottom of the soil. Because of the sand, it just lets it kind of go down. So you want to make sure, in either case, anytime you're putting on a good layer of mulch, that it's wet underneath there. Otherwise, what can happen is uh, the water that you apply basically just gets soaked up by the mulch and doesn't really um, get down into the root zone where you need it. So essentially, that's all you do to side dress is you just take your compost and you put it all around the plants that you're trying to grow. And like I said, that'll do a couple things for you. It'll retain moisture. It'll feed the soil. And it also will help to uh, retard any kind of weed growth. Which is another bonus but I will say this as well weeds are just like your garden plants they love a nice rich soil so the more you improve your soil the more likely it is that you're going to get weeds and then because this compost isn't complete hasn't been completely digested down I'm going to have some weed seeds in here which is okay we'll just pull the weeds out as we go along. Now you don't want the compost right up against the plants. That can cause rotting. Um, so that's why I put it basically on either side. And that's why it's called side dressing. And you put it on the sides of the plants. So essentially what you have, you have what looks like a small trench between the compost uh, rows essentially and your plants are coming up in between there. So it'll help the water basically direct into that trough where the actual plants are, concentrate the water where it needs to be. And then of course any um, leaching effect goes down into the soil and improves the soil. So that's, what you, that's one of the ways you can use compost. Another way is you can take it, put it in a bag, and put it in a bucket, and let it soak out, and create something that's called compost tea. The only problem with compost tea, in my opinion, it's a very short-term thing. It only lasts for a little while. Um, though I guess the nutrients would get trapped in the soil to a certain extent. But you have to have a lot to grow a garden my size. So. At some point in the future, I intend to get like a, a barrel and probably start to uh, make some large scale compost tea. But that's how you use your compost. Um, if you got any questions about it, drop me a line. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, all that good stuff. Um, but mostly, I want to get your opinions. How do you use your compost? What do you do with it? Um, this is what I do. It seems to work so far. And... Uh, We'll see how this turns out with my corn. This is my baby corn, by the way. All right, thanks once again for stopping by. Y'all take care and grow something.